There it goes. Ah, win. Hey. <laughs> Just got to hit it in the right spot. All right. Well, thankfully, we are uh, all on, and I do have an update I'm going to start off with. There was nothing exciting to report in the sense of actually getting a response from anybody that we've emailed. However, Terry did contact me and asked if I had heard back, and I had said no. Evidently, she checked with uh, Saptal, and uh, he said that he didn't ever receive anything, so please resend it. So I resent it, and on Friday at 1.06 p.m., I got a confirmation that he did receive it and is reviewing it right now, and that he will most likely respond directly to my email. Okay. So Thursday, uh, before this, I had a phone call with John Hutchings as well and uh, wanted to get kind of his thoughts on where things are at and what he knew about what we were doing and such and and uh, let him know, obviously, that we're not trying to make more work for him. That's not our, our end goal at all. Uh, and we had a nice long discussion. Bottom line is he uh, will not be able to touch anything for, for months and months and months. He said he is happy to look at the material. And I told him, I said, I don't want to send it to you if you don't have time or you don't want to deal with it right now. I totally understand at your convenience when you're ready, I'm ready. He goes, well, go ahead and send it to me so I can get a real general overview. He says, I'm not going to read it depthly. And he knows that uh, uh, Parks Department will be reaching out to him. And he said, most likely it's going to be postponed before they have any type of meeting, especially with a new head coming in there. He just was right up front and said, they're still going through so much with the floods that any other project is really going to take a back seat. And he said, be prepared for a very long haul. I explained to him, you know, our conversation with Terry that this is many years long process and we're going into this with full knowledge of that. I did ask him, I said, will there be anything that will keep you from using a public dock if and when we're able ever able to accomplish this would you ever consider the possibility of being able to do this? is there anything that would keep you from doing it and he goes i don't envision anything that would keep us from having a cooperation with the parks department being able to do something with them and be able to use that facility so that was good what he said though is he would never be willing to with a straight face think it's needed for emergency use and he says, because we're incorporating emergency type of docking procedures with the new facility. Uh, but he goes, at the same time, I understand what you're saying. And uh, we're, we definitely entertain the idea of being able to, you know, use it along with the, the parks department somehow. So overall, good. It just didn't matter. He wanted to reemphasize, Chris, this is a super long process. Don't get frustrated if it takes forever. It's just, it's not going to be easy for you guys. He kept on reemphasizing that. And I said, John, totally understand. I got in my mind 20 years already. So, you know, I'm, I'm in it for the long haul. We started it. We're going to press on. So that's the update I got. That's it. Great. Well, it sounds good, though. Yeah, that I mean, I think good. that's that's kind of the, the stage we are in is we are now at just a, a trying to identify showstoppers. And the, if there's, if there's, you know, reason to think that it could not possibly work for any reason, then sure, let's look at a plan B. And obviously, knowing it's going to be many years trying to decide if there's any short term improvements. Mm -hmm. any, any progress you can make yeah no i'm i'm glad he is continuing to emphasize the emergency the trying to deal with the emergency outage in use of the ferry dock and having something that is usable at the ferry dock for emergency egress so i am just really glad that that is not going to get pushed aside. Yeah, in, in following up to that, um, uh, Chris, you forwarded an email from uh, Terry Terry from Mike McFarlane, and I just want to kind of get on the record, and I did put it in the minutes, just to say um, that his, his response was, it, this is too large of a project for the Parks Department to undertake it alone, which, you know, we anticipated. Um, but again, 
he didn't say it was show stopping and they could would have nothing to do with it. Um, he did say it would need further vetting before listing it on the open space plan. So I'll take mm-hmm. that. I mean, and um, I, I think everyone has heard that he, he will be retiring. And I think that nobody would be expecting him to make a big push or a big decision if he, there's going to be a change of leadership. Um, he says the concept could be listed in future planning documents if there is support. And um, he did point out, he said, right now we are focused on cost sharing for public access improvements at the Aston Preserve. Mm-hmm. But I just want to and make sure we have an FAQ that points out that Aston's commitment to public use right now is very um, un, uh, not concrete. They, they have there are a lot of more, a lot more steps that will have to happen before there's public access, and what kind of public access is definitely still to be determined. <laughs> so I don't want people to think, oh well, it's going to be ASIN, so we don't need to consider any other options. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. What else can we accomplish? Um. I'm going to say from my personal perspective, I told Mary that Alan went ahead and, and put a bunch of the original FAQs onto the website. So I wanted to show that to you guys, kind of show you where that is with uh, what it would look like. Um, I did not want to do a lot of work on it. We all had a chance to look at it. So, and I've done some updating of the FAQs in the Word document because it, it still has to all be done in one place first. <laughs> anyway, so maybe tonight we can make progress on that. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I can share my screen, then I'll take you guys. You should be able to. I think yep. I've got yep. it enabled. There we go. So I am going to go now. This page right now is uh, available for editing. Wrong screen. I mean, wrong uh, browser. There we go. But uh, it would look something like this. I'm just going to change my layout so it looks a little bit more like what you'd be seeing. So it's going to be similar. So it would look something like this. So if you've ever been to the FAQs in either for the discussion area or the FAQs for the, uh, in general, for the OurLummyIsland.org, the concept is you have a short question, a short question here, mm-hmm. and you expand this to get the answer, and it can have pictures, which I think would be very helpful. Mm-hmm. So, my thought, and Alan, you can see Alan left the sort of the entry, how we would group them according to kind of high level. What was this question about? Looks like it's in an alphabetical order too. It is in alphabetical order. So um, I think the grouping of it, because you can do a control F, you can do a find right here and, and look for something as long as right now, there's no searching. You, nobody could find this page from uh, any other place on the, I, I've, mm-hmm. told you, I've got the hidden link to it. Once it's live, you could search for a keyword in any of the, the question or the answer. Mm-hmm. So let me show you, and we'll just, I don't, I think it's a little too early to really think hard about, oh no, let's not use this grouping. But as you can see, you know, financial is the majority. Um, but I went down to one so that we could see um, what this looks like because what we were talking about was putting the actual question. So real short, is this project a marina? The actual question that came in from a survey, is there a possibility for a marina so boats can be in the water at times of emergency? And I think mm-hmm. that's a great way to do this. I was kind of hoping, I, I can't, I have to talk to Alan about whether in the final I thought this was going to actually have sort of like a little gray box around it. But in any case, I don't know if we need to put more designation between the quote and the answer. 
I think we could have like a line, but this just gives you an idea of what it would look like. Well, it's it's uh, like one of them is in italics and the answer is in non-italics. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think this one is actually supposed, I thought this first one, I thought the questions were also going to be in uh, Times New Roman. I'm just going to scroll down further because uh, this is the actual editing. So it looks like you're sort of on a web page. You see this gray box. I thought we would actually get the gray box and see how it's mm -hmm. in. It's mm -hmm. actually in um, Times New Roman. So I'm mm -hmm. hoping that it actually looks more like this. And maybe I'm just, my preview is a little less than um, what we would call WYSIWYG. Which is what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll talk to Alan about that. But I think hopefully we get a nice, a nice um, distinction. I did not put any more uh, pictures in there, but certainly one of the logical places would be when you we were suggesting having uh, explaining to people the difference between a marina, a public dock, and a say state park dock. Um, and I think pictures would be very helpful for that. But that's what it would look like then if you were had just logged into the site and went to the FAQ page. Mm -hmm. And I think um, um, I put a few more. I tried adding one, and it adds fine. So it's definitely um, seems to be. I think this would be a good. A good and hopefully it's just a really easy. I think trying to keep most answers to just a paragraph. Mm -hmm. The other ones will be the ones that do it like a comparison. Well, should we just start at the top and start adding stuff? Let's pull up. Here's the Word doc. Okay, so I gotta see this. Okay, let me make this a little bit bigger. Will the dock be accessible for people with limited mobility? And this is actually, I thought this was a great one. Um, uh, this is one that um, he, you know, Alan put the picture in of people crawling over the riprap. So I think the the quote might be, will people need to crawl down riprap to get to a boat? <laughs> and the, and uh, um, these are places I'm, I'm trying to think of sort of like a little bit of a canned answer in the sense that it um, would say something like um, the committee is, um, has recommended that we uh, have a, a dock that complies with um, ADA guidelines. Accessibility, yeah. 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 Some, some along that lines. And I'll, I'll just, we'll just start using the term recommended. I think that's fine. And the hard thing about ADA accessibility uh -huh. um, is the degree of slope of the ramp yes because that will vary according to tides so and in order to make a ramp that is ada compliant it needs to be super 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 long uh-huh and that probably I, 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 uh, as is reasonably possible. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I, because it could be, I mean, if, if we only have because, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because at high tide, you can get the, you could get an acceptable um, thing. So that a person unaided with a chair could probably safely go down on their own, but if um, 
you know, if it were low tide and they were going down, it could be really scary. <laughs> uh huh. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's also, I mean, but it's it, a whole lot more accessible than the than the rocks are. Well, this is true. Um, and so that would be something we would really need to investigate, I think, as far as um, And the thing is, it's not, I mean, if there are other considerations, one is a question of right now, as far as I can tell, um, if you read the unreadable <laughs> sign at the current access beach, it actually says zero parking, it says there's no parking. So if you're mm -hmm. saying that our, our platform is currently ADA compliant, I would like to ask how you're going to get to it if you yeah. have, do not have handicapped parking. Yes. So when we say ADA compliant, I don't know if we should say the the peer and gangway. We would well, make it would be just the peer. It would not be the gangway because the gangway is what is the issue at various mm -hmm. tides. Yes, it would only be the peer. But uh -huh. they asked specifically about the dock. Well, I mean, actually, this this question has not come up from anywhere. It, ironically, it's all of us on the committee who keep bringing it up. But we this question didn't actually has not actually come up. Has not been asked by a member of the public. Um, I think it's maybe one they maybe people haven't just thought about. At some point, someone will bring it up, and surely it is a a feature that we have yeah and, desire. Well, yeah. Yeah, and no. and we would make it. We would make the make the ramp and the pier so that they are wide enough mm -hmm. to accommodate a chair or a stretcher or whatever um, a gurney going down. Um, I, just want Gurney. Not sure I think it. that's it. <laughs> okay, so maybe we'll just say, I, I, I guess this is also if, if it, since the question hasn't, you know, come up yet, I, like I say, I'm sure it will, the question will be parking, will there be parking available, will there be handicapped parking available? And I think that right this moment has got to be a, a to be determined. Uh, yeah. Okay. Something, something like this. I recommend that the pier be built to comply with ADA guidelines. Um, yeah, the pier. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then I think like that, yeah, the degree of slope on the gangway will vary with tidal conditions and compliance might not be able to be guaranteed. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's good because I, I, I don't know how marinas do it. I know that the, I know at Port of Bellingham, there's, there's times that that ramp is way too steep for a wheelchair. Oh, and, okay. and they've got really long, long gangways. Yep. But yeah, yeah I think um, it would be interesting to see if there are any um, adjustments made in the compliance. Yeah, uh, that would be blame. interesting to research. Um, right, I, I, I might look at some. I might look at that. That's just an interesting thing I've never thought about, but. Okay. Okay. So we'll, I think right now we're not looking for the best answers we ever had in our entire lives. Mm -hmm. That's something that mm -hmm. seems rational and. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty, 
pretty rational right there. Okay. So, um, I mean, I, I, I hate to just say no on this one. I think um, this the the this came up has came up at least twice, I think, in the survey, and I'll, I'll get the, the question. It's a pretty straightforward one. Will there be a, a public boat launch nearby? Um, I think someone says, because if there's not, it, 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 the whole plan falls apart because you can't, you can't get, uh, how, to, how, to boat, how are boats going to get into the water? So I was going to ask you, Chris, how, did you get your, how do you get your boat into the water? Well, I launched it at the marina. Okay. I launched it at Village Point. Yeah, that's how I get ours into the water. <laughs> okay, so for with other people, other Good Samaritans during the outage, did, did is that what everyone did? Yeah, or they had their boats, you know, down in Scenic Estate. So I would put something along the lines of it would be uh, an ideal situation to have one, but it's too early in the process for us to even suggest that be added into the overall plan. Uh huh. Um, and that site really does not lend itself to a launch ramp. The, exactly. the shore is too steep. Uh, right. Well, not only that, but um, there's it, no place. I, it, uh, uh, laps, yeah, is is not is not well suited. Uh huh. Uh, adding a launch, uh, launch facility. I mean, it's not just, I mean, it, it's la launch mm -hmm. facility. It, it's not just a, a ramp, right? You got parking and mm -hmm. pull outs and yeah. Um, I, one of the things I was hoping to put in here was that um, we will be holding community workshops and collecting um, and encouraging <laughs> citizens to share solutions they think would work. I'd love to hear it. I, I, I personally can't figure out where, how on earth this would work. So I'm like, oh, gosh, I don't know how you can do this. So, um, uh, so we'll be holding a series of public workshops. And this answer we can then repeat, I think, in other places. Um, uh, could be implemented or considered. Could be incorporated. Yeah. Okay. So. I guess the the question is whether we continue and say that currently um, boats who launch to provide urgent access are leaving from the public the uh, a public boat launch or um, private dock or scenic estates, or we want to have a separate question. It, if someone did ask, how are you going to get, well, actually someone I think specifically said, if you don't have a boat launch, how are you going to get these boats? So I don't know if we want to have a second question, is there a boat launch? And the second question might be without a boat launch, how do boats, if there is no boat launch? And later, if we want to con consolidate we, these, we can, if there's no boat launch near the public dock. How will uh, boats um, boat access be? Um, yeah, during the season, a lot of folks leave boats in the water on mooring buoys. Uh -huh. Yes, I wondered how many. Uh huh. But during the off season, they don't <laughs> because they are not safe out there yes um in during past ferry outages yeah 
Uh, Chris, how long, or Mary, how long does it take you to get over to uh, the ferry dock from Marina? Well, my boat has it's it's has a just a fifty horse outboard, um, so I think it would probably take me about twenty minutes to get around. Mm -hmm. Wide open in in flat water. Mm -hmm. That's kind of I think that I think that would be my okay. top speed. Okay. My top speed on my boat's about eighteen to twenty knots, so okay. it's not super fast. So I'm a I'm a, I'm a slow boat, but Chris has got a lot more sc pooping and scooping in his boat. Yeah, so how long does it take you, Chris? Well, if I went full throttle, I could do it in about six minutes, but. Okay. At a reasonable rate, it's 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll say 15 to 20. Okay, and then uh, 15. Uh, during past periods, boats have um, have departed from. And that's from Village Point. And Scenic Estates. It's a it's a bit of a haul up there from Scenic Estates too. Oh. Um, is it that is it because you have to get out and around still well it's just you have to you have to go it, it's it's pro let's see i don't know i'd have to it, it's probably about i don't know six eight miles no, the whole island's only nine miles long. True, true, yeah. So That's probably, it's probably about out. five miles. I can, I can see if I can whip up my, um, my Navionics app. Mm -hmm. And I can just measure distance. And, I gotta wait for it to boot up. Is that what you're doing, Chris? Yeah, I was just going to Google Maps real quick. Yeah, that actually is quite a run. Yeah. I don't know if I can measure distance on my phone. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm, I could go grab a chart and I don't have a pair of dividers, <laughs> but I, I, can, I can look it up. I'll figure that back, out. I assume, yeah, okay, we can come back to that. Yeah, we I, we did a run from Scenic Estates Dock to the gas dock and I think it was at least 15 minutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and um, Beth and Mike, Ray and Beth's boat. Hmm. It's about half the distance, I would say, just by using a, a measuring device on the phone. So. So that's my unscientific measurement. There you go. Well, maybe I'll say both are both are um, there. 
there you go. Okay. So then the question about on place on land to leave a denuded. So um, we've talked, of course, about you know leaving the dinghy on the the dock. Um, so I would say the current committee is recommending. We we don't um, we we're having a hard time imagining that you could actually get. A there's not a land. yeah. You, there's not enough space. Uh, there's not a dinghy park or a place to leave a dinghy as part of the public dock concept. Um, there would be a, a, a dinghy tie up zone, but it would not be a place you could leave it for a long time. I mean, yeah, it's realistically, uh, because of the high, high what, barriers. Yeah, well, what people would like to probably do is if they have if they have a boat that's out on a mooring buoy, yeah, like I could see some of the islanders oh. who keep their boats over in um, uh, in front of uh, Granger's place. Yes, um, during the season, like uh, then coming over there instead of having to leave their dinghy down on the beach. Uh, going over there and uh, tying up their dinghy and just leaving their dinghy there. And that's probably not what we want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Leaving a dinghy on shore at this site Mm -hmm. or at the per, at the proposed site is not a feasible all right i give up on that <laughs> yeah I see. So, um, are there? I have to admit, I, it didn't occur to me that they meant sort of longer term, but this would be your your thing, nice. very seasonal, like seasonal parking for your dinghy. Yeah, I like. I know that on Isle Air Beach, there's you know people that have moorings out there, keep a kayak or a dinghy or something parked on the beach. Uh -huh. So that they can access their boats, like Dave does that with his with his sea dory. I see. I like his, that, his... Lane. Good. Okay, because we, I mean, yeah, you, we have folks who put their oh. kayaks down. Lost you guys. Lost. Uh oh, you're not here. <laughs> we, we can, can still hear you. hear you, Chris. Mary, do you hear me? We yes. can hear you. Lane. Yes, I can hear you. I don't hear Lane. Mm -hmm. Can you hear Lane? Yes. Yeah, so how does he lose just me? Can you hear me? Why am I not hearing anybody? Um, check your connection. Yes. Yeah. No, you can't. How can you hear just Mary and me? Does that make sense? Chris, can you hear me? No. <laughs> now we can't hear him oh serious now i can't hear you <laughs> usually at about this point we expect tammy to appear his technical his it how about now there you go yes i don't know why it just stopped working i have no clue <laughs> um, I didn't. I didn't even touch anything. No. Uh oh, you moved uh, your head the wrong way. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, let me uh, just save while I'm working. Okay, so my question was, 
uh, I, or I was just pointing out, yes, here on our, we have a little beach out here for the, for the condos and people do put their, tie up their kayaks, leave them for the summer. Yeah. I hadn't thought about, you know, putting your, your dinghy out there, but. Um, yeah, no, there's several, there's several people that leave their inflatables or their kayaks or a little, you know, just some kind of a boat to row out to their, to their boat on the moorings at right. Isle Air and Sunset. Yep. Yeah. And they can get away with it there because you can get up high enough. It's a, it's a big, it's a wide enough and high enough beach that it, the, unless it's a really big storm that, yeah. you know, the boats don't get washed up. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, let's see. How will the dock be protected during storms or winter weather? And I'll say the uh, committee is proposing a design that would uh, lift the dock out of the water during storms and for off season. Mm -hmm. That will, yeah, that can easily lift the dock in and out of the water. Because I would just say, yeah, in and out of the water in case of storms. Yeah. Uh, or when conditions dictate. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. If it's uh, in and out of the water. Or, um, um, uh, or other conditions. Oh. Off season. And then I think um, uh, the committee will be holding a series of public workshops to collect ideas for uh, doc, uh, doc design. There we go. We've not chosen an ugly design that you can't live with, and that's all you're getting. So I think we'll make sure we put that there. Okay, and yeah, we're making good progress here. How will access to the dock um, for emergency use be assured? Um, and I think the first answer is uh, there will be a red zone. Uh, I should say the committee is recommending. Is and that's what it's called, red zone? Um. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of like a no parking zone, mm -hmm. and it's sometimes like that can be used for like active loading and unloading, you know. Oh, you, as long as you're with the boat. As long as you're with the boat, but it would be like you know you can't walk away from your boat and tie it in that zone. Got it. And I mean, I hate to say, I mean, there's a point at which you say, well, what if people have left their boat anyway? That is why we bring scissors. I mean, really. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, there, if, if it's a true emergency, any fire boat, any public agency that's authorized to provide emergency services can do whatever they need to, to make mm -hmm. sure they have access. I don't need permission for the boat owner to untie them and move them. And, nope. and at most docks, like um, I've, I've had my, dock, my dinghy tied up to a dock and I've had people move it to, you know, to try to fit another boat in to, mm -hmm. you know, people don't usually get upset about that. Sometimes someone will come in and they'll, they'll tie it alongside instead of just tying off of the bow and letting the boat float. And yes. that takes up a whole lot of space. It does. Yes. And if you, yes. And you can put like about six dinghies in the same space that, yeah. that that's, that that's tied up. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Well, I don't, I can't tell sometimes if it's that people don't um, realize that there is a, a point at which you assume things like you could step on someone else's dinghy to get up to the dock. That's just part of the mm -hmm. way the etiquette works. You, and if they're like, oh, if I had a boat, I would never let anyone do that. It's like, well, that is the way the docks work. Yeah, there are, and, there are docks where, um, like if you pull up to a dock in Victoria, the public docks in front of the Empress or the, the count, the, the state docks, it's mandatory that you raft up. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. it's mandatory that a boat that is tied to the dock has to put out fenders and let someone else tie up on your outside. Yes. So I think, again, sometimes uh, boaters are used to that. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot of people that might not be used to it, but that are yeah. just really, really new or they don't do much. They might not, they might have like just launched their boat. They may be coming up from Arizona or Utah or someplace and they just don't know what the rules are, but they usually yes. get queued in pretty quickly. Yes. I mean, if you've come here and think that your car is like, you know, your boat's like the car and you have the same kind of rights, that is not the way it works. Yeah. So, I mean, those are some of those things. Hopefully we could address for people is if you are not a boater, um, mm -hmm. it, it would be a, a bigger concern but if you are a boater um i hope you know that you parking in a red zone is a good way to have your boat float away so yeah well it wouldn't float away someone no, would I just meant. tie it somewhere else or tie oh, it to okay. another boat or tie it to a piling yeah. or something it won't be yeah. the same place it was when you left it <laughs> it may not be at the same place where you left yes. it um so the next question, and it's actually uh, sort of ties into the the question after it. Also, the question about how to how do you enforce the um, time limits for tie ups? Uh, on some level, um, I'm you know uh, there are you know public docks all over the island, and and many of them have time limits, and we'll get more guidance from them. Yeah, we don't really have a we can't give you an answer. Yeah, most of them will have posted like three hour, three hour maximum. Like I think that's what it is in Friday Harbor, out on the breakwater dock. And then if if, if you're there more than three hours, then you're charged mm -hmm. for moorage. Um, I would make it simple and say citizens' responsibility. Mm -hmm. There's no way we can police this, nor do we I want know. to. I don't want you want we don't want to. It's like, come on, people. Yeah. You know, you don't have to have I don't know. Yeah. It's and I think that the committee will be holding a series of public workshops for you to share your concerns, but in the end, it's just like, well, why don't you know, are people still saying, well, you know, people might camp up at Curry. Well, how are they enforcing the current rules at the Whatcom County Park already? Beach access. Right. Exactly. Or curry <laughs> or any of these. I mean, it, it, it is yeah. part of the, the reality. Um, uh, there you go. I just don't, yeah, that's, it's, yeah, there won't be an answer to everything for sure. Um, someone did uh, have this, you know, have a quote about, um, you know, I think uh, a similar kind of answer. Mm -hmm. Is it realistic to expect volunteers to monitor compliance with tie up limits, noise and other problems? Um, if someone is a if someone is a abuser, mm -hmm. I, you know I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, yeah. There's some people that are just real poop heads, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, and it works at state parks. It works in areas where they have yeah. dock host. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it, it, this would look differently, but you know, it's a system that works already. Mm -hmm. yeah. And really, the 
most of the time you don't have problems with voters. They just, most of them are pretty. They're pretty mellow and good people. Considerate. Mm -hmm. Then again, I've been out to uh, Susha Island with some that are not. So I. (laughs) But in a boat like mine, you know, you just start going at them quick and they change their attitude real quick. Oh, Mary, I don't think we need to record this anymore, do we? We're working on this. Well, I would suggest we just go ahead and shut off the recording so people don't have to sit through all of this. It's going to be eventually. They'll just get the final document, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll just stop it then.